Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is the causative agent of both chicken pox and shingles is and you have to choose one of these answers. And this picture would help me to explain which answer to choose. If you have such type of the question on your exam and you don't know which answer to choose, first look for the variants that you know that are not correct answers. For example, answer D, rhinovirus, rhino means nose. So we can exclude this variant. Now take a look, influenza virus, or we also know it as a flu. So we also can exclude everyone had a flu and know that symptoms are very different. So now instead of four variants, we have to choose between these two variants. So you greatly increased chances to choose the correct answer. Now it's not 25% but 50%. But of course the best variant would be to know the correct answer. Shingles is caused by varicella zoster virus or VZV, the same virus that cause chicken pox. After a person recovers from chicken pox, the virus stays dormant, inactive in their body. The virus can reactivate later, causing shingles. Most people who develop shingles have only one episode during their lifetime. However, you can have shingles more than once. On the picture you see the child is affected with chicken pox and adult affected with shingles. Usually people over 50 years old would have shingles and it is localized in certain areas of the body and is more dense than chickenpox which is spread all over the body. If you have shingles, direct contact with the fluid from your rash blisters can spread with the weed to people who have never had chickenpox or never received the chickenpox vaccine. If they get infected, they will develop chickenpox, not shingles. They could then develop shingles later in their life. The risk of spreading varicella zoster virus is low if you cover the shingles rash. People with shingles cannot spread the virus before their rash blisters appear or after the rash crusts. People with chickenpox are more likely to spread varicella zoster virus than people with shingles. So now you know which answer to choose. This is answer C. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.